but it's as united as I've seen Congress in a generation. Um, I think the epigee is accurate. I think what we'll have to do as press is to make sure that we, you know, you, you talk about the Dominion suit, we have to make sure that we're doing our job to adequately and, you know, inform our, the electorate and to vet facts and make sure that we're presenting vetted facts so that people can, you know, discuss their differences with facts that we all agree upon rather than made up facts. And the fact that, you know, you had a member of Fox saying they didn't believe it for a moment, that tells you that the whole time when someone's shouting fake news, you know, and casting, you know, shadows, they're the ones that are the shadow, they're the ones that were the fake. Look, I think the opportunity there is to offer some people better, okay? I mean, I'm, you know, yeah, I am uh, unabashed absolutely. in saying that I think that the parties are a problem. I think people uh, should not play party. I think they should be independent, and I think they should make the government come to them. Uh, and that's why I really believe they should be polling right now. Now, look, here's the chink in the armor of my argument, is that the GOP is about to double down going after Biden, but I don't think it's as simple as Jim Jordan assumes it to be. No, it's not only is it not simple, it's far more complex than what they think. They think they can come in and we'll hear about Hunter Biden's laptop for the next two years. We may well indeed. That there's nothing to keep them from doing that other than the fact that the American electorate is tired of, of you know, even the ones who get conned are tired of the con after a while. And the people that are going to run those investigations from the GOP at the cost of abandoning issues that Americans are now paying attention to, like infrastructure. I, I, that, those things are going to come around and hurt, and the Dobbs decision. Those things are going to come around and hurt the GOP. It's far more complex than just doing what they did last time and let's have Benghazi you know, uh, testimony for two years. It won't work. And so even McConnell understands that, Mitch McConnell. And so uh, that's why McCarthy doesn't have a, a majority right now. Kevin McCarthy is not a shoe in for, for uh, the Speaker of the House. It, the GOP is in disarray as we cruise into the new year and the Christmas season. That's why McCarthy's keeping quiet, which sometimes is the best play. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that the battlefield yeah. will be immigration. Yeah. I think that Biden, right, Brian's been telling, give me that advice for about 15 years, by the way, to shut my mouth sometimes. <laughs> um, but I, I'm hoping that immigration is the initial battle um, because I think it's on Biden. Uh, getting rid of Title 42 is a mistake. If COVID's as big a deal as the administration says it is, how can you not enforce it on the border? Now, of course, you can point to the hypocrisy of the Republicans and say, so COVID's not a big deal in America, but it is once you get to the border. Put that to the side. Come up with a plan that does what Title 42 does, uh, kept out millions of people for fear of disease, and that's on Biden. Uh, and they had that weird thing, Brian, that they just asked the judge, hey, we want you to get rid of Title 42, but not yet. Give us a few days. So they must be trying to come up with something. <laughs> Wait till after Christmas. It's on them to prove they can protect the border, and then they will finally get a deal where they can take care of the dreamers, which three out of four Americans say they're just like the rest of us, and rightly so. Yeah, well, the problem with the border, Chris, is that's been a, you know, they talk about it being a crisis, but it's been a crisis for 40 years. Everyone's kicked the can down the road, not mm -hmm. dealt with it. The simpson mazzoli Act passed in, what, 85 or 86 was supposed to, mm -hmm. until then, it was illegal to come into the country, but it was legal to hire people who came in illegally. Now it's illegal to hire them and illegal for them to be here, but no one's ever prosecuted for that until you deal with the fact that American industry likes cheap labor and is encouraging mm -hmm. some of this uh, illegal immigration, you're not going to deal with a problem, you know, honestly. So, and, and we create, you know, Smedley Butler created the book back, you know, War is a Racket in the 1930s, talking about how, you know, American diplomacy has helped create some of the problems that have created the conditions that spur people to come to the United States illegally. So we don't really, that's a huge problem, and you're right. But if Biden actually deals with it, the first president to actually deal with it, it'll be a big hit. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.